everyone. It is Anita and, and Dario with Passions Cooking. And uh, so we figured we'd put this video together because there's been lots of people been asking about who we are, what we've been doing, what's happening with Passions Cooking. So we thought we'd do a little question and answer just between the two of us and see if that hopefully answers some of the questions that, that you have been asking. So one of the questions is that I've noticed is Dario, what have you been up to? What made you decide to get into the culinary industry? Wow, that's a, that's a that's a big question for a long time, but we're gonna make it short. Well, uh, I I grew up in in Italy and a family. Then obviously cooking was not a priority. They wanted me to study because we were all doctors, and you know I was supposed to go to to medical school or to law school like uh, they all wanted to but there were two things number one I wasn't quite crazy about going to school for 10-15 years and number two I love to travel and I love to be around people and make them happy so I remember I came home one day and I said to my um, to my grandmother at the time and I said uh, you know no no I want to become a chef. No, I want to become a cook. And, uh, <laughs> and everybody says, what? I said, are you kidding me? You know, the plan is for you. Well, everybody had a plan, but my plan was different. And um, my grandmother believed in me. She put me through an hotel school in Streza. Streza is in Lake Maggiore, 45 minutes outside of Milan. And, uh, and that's where my journey started. And uh, I travel, I travel in France, Switzerland, uh, South America, North America, Asia, until I landed in Canada, and this beautiful, beautiful country. Um, and I often say that this is home now, thanks to you, thanks to the kids. And um, yeah, that's pretty much where we started, and I love it. I love every minute of it. I always say that I'm not working. I'm enjoying myself. But you started when you were 13, making 13 pizzas? Years. Yeah, that was my first job. Yeah, that was my <laughs> first job. That was a so my grandmother kind of wanted to give me a lesson, and the lesson was, hmm, because I loved to play soccer, and I was a fairly good soccer player. And but soccer was a night, and it was in a weekend. And my grandmother said, "You want to become a cook? Well, you're gonna have to work in a kitchen." So one of our uh, friends that we had, they own a pizzeria, so I would wash dishes, roll pizza, cut vegetable. Throw them up in the air? Throw them up in the air, well I tried at <laughs> the beginning. And, um, and that was, and that was pretty, for me was the beginning, but you know, it, it taught me responsibility, taught me uh, what I really am, uh, what I wanted to be. I mean, I missed not playing soccer, but that was a choice in life that I have to do it. And I, and I don't regret it, I'm happy because you know, it, it brought me to what I am right now. So enough for me, what about you? Well, I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to ask you three questions and then, and then... Oh, really? Yeah, I changed it up a little bit. She changed things up to me. So, because it kind of goes into transition and there's so much to learn and, and know about who you are and what you do. So, you worked in the restaurant industry, um, you worked in the hotel industry, you were an executive chef, you, you managed huge teams. Um, executive chef at Oro, which was the top ten in Canada. In yeah. Canada. You've, you've cooked for people all over the world, royalty, mm -hmm. presidents, prime ministers, everything. What made you decide to change? What made you decide to now teach young chefs to get their masters or the post diploma and now with Passions Cooking? Well, wow, that are two, three question answer and you know very well. <laughs> There's that, just so much. She, she's very tricky and, and uh, she knows that to get me pretty good. And you know what? It's a, it's a very valid point. <laughs> so, so the number one, um, that was probably you know, a hard one at the beginning because I love the restaurant. I love the rush. I love the, um, I, 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 love, I, love, I love what I was creating for people. But I was detaching myself from my kids. I mean, you know, it's hours and hours and hours and hours of work. And I said, well, I have to, I have to give back. You know, the industry was becoming so much about me, 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 me. And I, and I start cooking not because of me. 
I start cooking because of them, because the people I was feeding, which was very important to me. And, I, and you know, me and you talk about it. People used to say, oh, uh, you know, you have the life. And I said, well, I'm not necessarily on the life. The most important thing to me is our life, my life. And my life was not there anymore. So I needed to give back. So giving back was to young minds, young students, young chefs, and spending more time with the kids. Um, so that was important also. But that was the most humbling experience in my life because one thing when you run a brigade of 100 cooks or 12 or whatever it is, then they really see your mind, they know where you are. The other thing was when you teach young chefs in a school. And that was humbling, uh, but the most rewarding thing I've ever done for sure. So that definitely was a major moment in of my life that I had to make a change and, and I learned to rebuild myself again, which was great, which was great. I learned, I mean, I love to learn. We learn all the time. The third one is passion is cooking. Well, that's the big one. That is, uh, you know, thanks to you. I mean, I, I, I always say, you know, you give me a second chance, I would say, because it's realizing what passion is. Passion is, is not just about what you do, it's how you do it. And thanks to you and thanks for what we do together, you know, we kind of combine our two business together. But it's really to, share, to give an opportunity to people to understand then that never to give up, never to stop dreaming, always focus on what is important, uh, not be afraid of reinventing yourself. And for us, passion is cooking, it's really sharing to people who we are, you know? There is no camouflage, there is no fancy recipe, there is no fancy ingredient. It's about simplicity, fun, trouble, travel, no trouble, but sometimes trouble. Uh, <laughs> You're a lot of trouble. <laughs> create, and uh, but the most important thing is connect. I mean, we talk about the, 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 the greatest thing about this is we love to work together. Mm -hmm. We enjoy having fun together. Sometimes we work a lot, but we work together. I mean, you know, our goal is to spend a lot of time together. And, you know, what we, what we want people to understand is we are what we are, and you are what you are. Sometimes you don't realize where you are until you found yourself. And finding yourself is not this cliche word that sounds so perfect. No, you really need to find, you need to dig deep inside to really figure out what is important to you. And what is important to you is necessarily not what is important to us. The most important thing that what we share right now is a connection. A connection for us is it's lifestyle, it's food, it's life and travel. I mean, that's what we do. Connections and relationships, right? Big time. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. So that's the third one. So now... No, I'm no, no. Yeah. So then you asked me a question, then I'll ask... The last question I'm going to ask you is where your aha moments is. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Okay. So ask me a question. Ask away. So, so that's my, my question that I'm going to ask. It's, it's very important because, you know, and I want... I need this very humble. Okay, and, uh, and I know people are really curious to really find out a little bit more about Anita. She that. is, oh yes it is. So, <laughs> you have an interesting life. You know, you've done so many things. I think your entrepreneurial side came up at a very young age, right? Uh, you came to Canada from an immigrant family. How was it? What at all start to your <laughs> brain to really think entrepreneurial? Well, entrepreneurial has been is always in my blood, and so I remember when I was um, when I was young, I actually had collected tadpoles from the local stream, and I went around and put them in this bucket, and I went door to door, and I sold them for five cents at that time, and it was so funny because I actually uh, grabbed those tadpoles. I went to those doors afterwards and asked the people. I said I was, it's called follow up, as we know it now. <laughs> But at that time, I didn't know, and I said, you know, how are the tadpoles doing? Are they frogs? And, and they would go, oh, yeah, they're doing great, <laughs> but they would never show me. So I never knew what happened to those tadpoles, but I was convinced that they, you know, they were the happiest people ever. They had these tadpoles. Later on, I had made uh, little tattoos and um, would sell them to my friends and people. Um, they were basically a little piece of paper. I drew a picture on it, and I'd put it on. 
And then, you know, later on I, I started a flower business. So I worked at a place called Copperfields as a hostess and I thought, what a great idea. Copperfields, wow. It was a bar restaurant to get flowers and sell them and oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. I didn't know you had to have a business license at the time and <laughs> those kind of things. But the point is I always had this entrepreneurial spirit in me and when you get fearful of you know, finances and, and, and the security, you think that a job is giving you security. And I'm not saying anything against having a job, but I just had that entrepreneurial spirit and I was following that way of letting go of that. So to me it was really important that later in life I realize that again and being an entrepreneur has been phenomenal and I, and I help entrepreneurs with, with my business. So yeah, it's just it's such a great feeling. You know, being an entrepreneur for me, um, to have the flexibility, to have the um, income earning that you could make whatever, there's no cap. You know, you're not making that, you know, $100,000 a year, 50, 70, whatever it is. You're actually able to earn more and you put into it and it's something that's passionate for you. That is, so, so, you listen to all that there is a lot of things they were built at a very young age and I and I'm gonna go on the limb but we're talking about seven eight years old here so there is a lot of history there but but then again you know you come to Canada in a tough area in Toronto yeah and Jane and you, Jane and Finch was a lot of fun yeah so I mean are those if are, anyone lives in Toronto yes and and you know you have to really fend for yourself um, wanted to be yourself so that's pretty much what made you where you are right now. Yeah, I, you had to be tough. My parents also were not one. I mean, I, I always knew they were there, so I can't say that they weren't oh, there to support fair. me. But, you know, at 13, they, they gave me the baby bonus and they said to me, okay, you buy everything from now on in. So, you know, I had to buy all my own stuff and that's why I worked three jobs. You know, in doing that, I ended up buying a car when I was 16. I bought my first house when I was 21 because I was taught to fend on my own and to do that. I think we talked about that the other day that I, when I remember being 16 and I was in a car accident and I don't even remember my parents really supporting me that they would have been there, but I went to court to fight this, you know, yeah. and, and, and doing this all on my own because that's all I've ever known and I think that's part of the entrepreneurial spirit, right? And, and you were the exact same way. <laughs> and that's why we connect so well in, in everything that we're doing because you also had that, right? Where you basically... The yin and the yang. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that way, we're very connected. In other ways, we're yin and yang. But, but no, I think we're very connected in many ways. I mean, you know, we, we joke around and said, you know, I got a headache, and she feels the pain, it's, <laughs> and, and, and it's and it's bizarre, but it's the truth. Um, the, the most amazing thing, because I mean, you made a lot of striving in your life. You know, you know, you got kids at your young age. You, you you were a high end executive in a company and then bingo mm -hmm. what happened well i mean at the time they wanted me to, to make this transition i wasn't wanting to make and so that's when i started i need well originally it was your inspirational journeys which came out to yij group which now is anita heidemann international yeah. and yeah. and i taught myself how to be an entrepreneur that's i right. already had that spirit in me but there's a lot more to being an entrepreneur than just that passion you that's really right. have to have the know-how and you know, when I was in corporate, I had all that support system below me because I was in a higher end position. I had a secretary, marketing department, IT department, and when you're an entrepreneur, it's very different right. in what that is. So, you know, it was that transition and, and learning that, and that's what I was helping other entrepreneurs doing, is to make a success of themselves and how to do it efficiently yeah. in a little amount of time because you could be going 24-7 right, right, right. in a business, right? So it's really, really important that uh, that you can do that. So, And then, and then obviously, the switch of what we do right now. So, I mean, for you, I mean, you always knew, you always had a background of it, you know, from the way your mom, I mean, your mom was always very focused and very health conscious, you know, and health is very much what we're looking here in Passion is Cooking, but that was another thing that really, what sparkle? What, what is this experience of Passion is Cooking? Well, for me, it's, it's the co combination of what we're both doing. So in June of last year, my business I've done mostly online mm -hmm. so that I can concentrate more on this in January. And what sparked it was my experience with my son. So mm -hmm. at the time, my son, he, we were, I was going through my divorce and my son was uh, very much into video games and I couldn't really relate to him. I was trying very hard to 
play the games with him and it wasn't really working. And so I sat down with him and I said, what can we do together? What can we do that can really bring us closer and, and, and do something together? And he said, Mom, I want to learn how to cook. <laughs> and at the time, you weren't in my life. Well, not in this way that you are now. But I was, but I wasn't. Uh, we were good friends at the time, but you know, I wanted to learn how to cook different recipes too. So he would actually come with a recipe and I would get the ingredients for it and we would cook together. And it was so much fun. We became very, very close uh, with that relationship. So to me, I know that connection with food. And to me, there is that piece that's missing. Now being with you, being you know a chef, that there's so much in the fridge that you can make a meal from. And we're always so so big in thinking about you have to have a cup of this, a pound of this, without realizing that, you know what, you can just pull this, this out of the fr mm -hmm. and you can fridge and you can create something. It's phenomenal. Oh, absolutely. Now, yeah. you have a lot more experience than many people out there, but it's not that. It's being able to know how to do that. And that's what's so important is getting people back in the, ki in the kitchen cooking as friends, as family, as kids, as couples. I mean, it is fun and it's in a healthy way because we want to be able to create things that are healthy for us, right? And, and bring that, that that feeling back. I mean, I love that um, that commercial that's out there for PC? Loblaws. Oh yeah, that's a good one. For PC, you know, it has the, the girl that's remembering going back in time when she was eating together and it was the family and they were doing things and there she was sitting at this cubicle eating, you know, on her own and everyone was all in these cubicles eating together. And not connecting. And yet when I go with you to Italy mm -hmm. and seeing these tables of 30 people and everyone's <laughs> sitting there eating and having fun on a weekday. Oh my gosh, you know, and it's such an eye opening and bringing that back to families and the people that, you know, a frozen dinner is not eating something healthy. You know, just putting something together and connecting as opposed to one person being in one yeah. room, right? What well, about for you, dear? Like, what is passion well, cooking? And well, you know, it's, you know, it's funny, you just, you, you were just saying that and, and, and something trigger. Um, I, I go back on my childhood, you know, you know, food for us was a healthy way of living. It was a way to connect and talk about our day. You would never dare eat standing up uh, and you would really want to spend the time talking about it. We know on Friday was fish. We know on Friday we would go look for the fish, the freshest fish as possible and we would have this feast of fish. But the most important thing and I think for the, for the two of us is is our, our connection. Uh, I mean, for people who don't know, me and Anita know each other for what? 18, 19 years? Yep. Yeah. So, and we connected a few years ago and on, on, on the way we are right now. And, and, the, be and the best thing, then unfortunately, we never really realized how very similar we are in our ways. You know, we enjoy simple things than people me don't understand. We love to, to spend time together. We love to hike, we love, but we also love to research and research within ourselves. Okay, and that's the biggest thing, you know. The, the thing about passion is cooking is really find out what really triggers you. How healthy you want to be, you know. Uh, you want to go work out to a gym, it's great, and that's important because that's what we do. But also you want to make sure that what kind of stuff you put into your system, what kind of fuel you put in it. So really triggers us on, on on what we really decided we wanted to do it. So passion is cooking is about be passionate what you're doing. Cooking is the element, but most important is being connected. So to me it was an ultimate thing. It's not about me being a chef at all. Because it's about realizing what we are cooking. You taught me so many things about cooking that I didn't even know. You know, simple things then were very important, then they were maybe basic, but they were very thought out. So, um, But that's, that, that brings up a whole other thing, and that's that you don't know what you don't know. Well, of course so not. you think you're an expert in something, and unless you expand yourself, and that's why cooking and learning, and right. it's, it's an ongoing thing. So, right. But you know what, you and I could talk forever, you know that, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do every single and, that, day. and that's why we love doing this business together because you know we're very passionate about what we do. We're very passionate about each other. We feel like we've had a second chance in being together. Yeah. I didn't realize how good it was to have such a great, wonderful <laughs> friend to do everything with, and I just absolutely love it that love we it. found each other. Um, 
but you know, I wanted to say in, in one question after to, to end it out, like what is your aha moment? Like what is, if you were to sit now, I mean there's so many we go through in life and in a year from now it could be something different, but I still believe that our aha moments are what make us. So what would you say? I don't feel like you have to say it about me or anything. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not. My haha moment, okay, there was, there was a little one and then there was a big one. The big one was, well, no, so I should say it was a little one, a big one. They were, I think we were both even, um, but the, 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 the most important one, we were in Italy. And, um, and that was a major haha moment about our life. And we were sitting down, we, I, was, I was invited to this castle in, in Torino, in Alba, sorry, and to, to, to do a dinner. And uh, so everybody... Guest chef. I was a guest chef for this event and, you know, I was, kind, I was invited by a good friend of mine and, it, you know, these guests were doing truffle picking and uh, cheese and wine tasting and everything. And then at night was this incredible dinner, it was a retreat, okay, in this castle. And everybody was fascinated with what I was doing and what we were doing. You wanted to learn everything about the meal and everything, and how he was cooking it, and of course the, the Italian heritage because yeah, you're from Italy. Everything, and everything. But then it was a, it, it was an incredible. And I will say forever, it was a nine o'clock at night, and we were sitting at the table with all these wonderful people from all, all over, and the switch went the opposite way, and it was like. What is our relationship? What is us? How can we connect? And all the attention came pretty much to you. Uh, your expertise about life, about strategy, about balance your life, your rich life. Mm -hmm. That's what you preach, that's your business, that's the business you create, mm -hmm. rich life. And to me at that point, it was like, bingo, this is it. This is it. This is exactly, we were meant to be together for a reason, mm -hmm. okay? But not just for business, because we, we know that we are more than, than just that. Um, but that moment, it was like, passion is cooking, it's really, it's real. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was an important thing. But the most important thing is really how well we were interacting with these people at that time. You know, she's my best friend, she's not the person I love and everything. Don't, she's don't my best friend. you make me cry. No, what? <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, it's it's the important part is you wanna and I say to somebody, somebody approached me a long time ago and said, oh, you know, I would like to you know join a partnership with you. I said, well, I have the best partner in the world, and you know, and I go to sleep with this partner, so I don't need any other partner. So I'm I'm very lucky. That was the haha moment. That was something really spectacular to me. Then it changed my life, changed my view of things, and and changed what we're doing right now. How about you? That was a yeah. That was definitely a, a huge moment for us to realize. But I think it was when. I mean, there's so many of them, but I think it was when we met. Oh, I was just. But to me. <laughs> you to remember me, I said two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We have to because we, we can't. We could be talking forever. We got to cut sure. this off in a few minutes. So what I think is what we're going to do is because a lot of people have been asking us questions. Yeah. So maybe people can comment ask questions in the comment, maybe we'll do a, a take two on this to oh, ask yeah, people because, you know, I've had people ask me, you know, how do you guys stay so strong? How do you work together? You know, we could go on forever yeah. with all of this. So what I'm going to do is, is ask if anyone wants to well, what was your ask any questions moment? and all that stuff. So I've known Dario for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. You know, our sons are best friends. That's and right. You know, we would go to ball games together. We would do all this stuff. And I remember the first time I saw him was the kids' kindergarten class. And he was at one end dropping off his son. I was at the other end dropping off my son. Oh my God, yeah. And I remember looking at him and going, oh, he's a good looking man. But I would not ever do anything or approach the situation because, you know, you were married, I was married and, right. and whatever. And from then on in, we were just friends, hey, yeah. you know, and we were friends and we always were really good friends. But we really didn't talk much about us. We talked about the kids. We talked about you know how they were doing in school and That's right. just the general stuff. And it wasn't until we actually sat down and we realized how much we have in common. And it was just such a an eye-opening thing for me that you can be that connected to somebody and how not to settle for a second best. You know, mm -hmm. I look back to 
when I was 19 and I, I met my, my husband mm -hmm. and, and all the rest of it. And yep. I look back and I go, I settled, even though I was a different person back then, but still, you know, I think it's so important to find that person that really, really, I want to say rocks your boat. I mean, we're connected in mind, body and soul. Like That's it's right. just, it's such a great That's thing. Right. We spend so much time together and we enjoy it. And it's that second chance. So to me, that was a really big aha moment. And that's why, you know, creating passionate cooking and working together more is to right. be able to do that. And it's so important. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoying ourselves and, and be together. I mean, it's, it's nothing. I mean, it's what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were fortunate enough to connect. We were fortunate enough to find your soulmate. And, uh, but it's, there is a soulmate for everyone. I mean, don't give up on your thing. And you know what? And when you have a soulmate, make sure you cherish. We say all the time, don't ever take anything for granted. You know what? You're good as your last meal. You're good as a, of the dish you're going to make. That, that's what it is. You know, not because things are great, you're just going to slip on it. You know, you're going to still work hard on it. So it's Anita Heidema. And Dario Tomazelli. With Passion is Cooking. And make some comments and write some things and ask some questions. And I think we're going to do a stage two on this. See how it goes, right? Absolutely. Sounds good. Ciao for now. Ciao, guys. Bye-bye.